Hello guys, it's Monica from EDAC and today I will explain everything about PBR materials. I will make it super easy to understand, plus I've created for you a PDF about PBR materials to download. Using PBR materials will never be as simple as after this tutorial. Ready? Let's dive in. It's important to know what each map does to get the best results. Color and diffuse maps show the main color of the surface. For this type of texture, I use either a color or a diffuse map. Reflection maps create the effect of light reflecting on the material. To achieve this, I use glossiness, roughness, specular reflection or metalness maps. The third type is structure maps. These maps reveal high differences, microstructure or material contours. I use ambient occlusion, normal bump or displacement maps. Now we understand the role of textures in creating materials. Let's dive into making PBR materials. Basically, there are two types of workflow to create PBR materials, metallic and specular workflow. In the metallic workflow, we use roughness and metalness maps, while the specular involves specular and glossiness maps. The other maps are used in both workflows. When creating PBR materials, you will need to pick one of these workflows. Let's create our first material. I will download the material from the website reawood.com. I'm making a wooden floor material, so I will pick one from there or something similar. In the description of the video, you will find links to materials which I used during this tutorial. Choose the resolution of the maps and download. When it's downloaded, so don't worry about all the maps you get. You will only need some, depending on the workflow you are using. Let's start with the metallic workflow. For this, I will use color, roughness, metalness, normal bump, displacement and ambient occlusion maps. Let's create a material. In the diffuse tab, I upload a color map and set the transfer function as sRGB. Then I will add the ambient occlusion map using the mix operator function to blend it with the color map. In the texture B, I will upload the ambient occlusion map and change the transfer function to none or linear in older V-Ray versions. Then change the operator to multiply. It's done. The texture has more shadows and contours thanks to the ambient occlusion map. Next, for reflection, I will change surface control to use roughness and upload the roughness map to reflection roughness option, setting the transfer function to none. I will also change the reflection color to white to activate the reflection roughness map. Then I will upload the metalness map and set the transfer function to none. Let's see that the metalness map is black. It means the material has no metal properties. Black on the map corresponds to a value of zero, indicating non-metallic materials. So for materials without metal properties, simply setting the value to zero is equivalent to using a black map. Our wooden floor material looks great. I will add some structure to the material using a normal map. Let's move to the bump tab and change the mode to normal. Here I can choose 8-bit or 16-bit normal map. I will choose a 16-bit normal map for more detail and set the transfer function to none. Adjust the intensity as needed. If you have a bump map instead of a normal map, switch the mode to bump and upload the bump map. Nowadays, normal maps are preferred for their better detail over bump maps. Let's add displacement, also known as a height map. Displacement creates height variations in the material. Depending on the material, displacement might not be necessary since it can increase rendering time. First, I create a new asset, geometry and displacement. Then I select the floor group. Remember, the element you want to add displacement to should be grouped. After that, I upload a displacement map and set the transfer function to none. Finally, I adjust the amount, 
which controls the intensity of the displacement. Okay, that's it. This is how we create photorealistic PBR material. Now I will create the same material using specular workflow. The only change needed is in the reflections. Firstly, I will set the surface control to use glossiness. Since there is no specular or reflection map in the folder, I will change the reflection color to white. For reflection glossiness, I will upload the glossiness map. Metalness is set to zero. That's all. I will leave diffuse, bump and displacement as they are. Now it's time to practice using free materials from polygon.com. Create photorealistic material for the armchair. In my free PDF guide about PBR materials, I demonstrate how to create fabric materials using both metallic and specular workflows. This is the same process as creating the wooden floor material. Let's try something different. Golden coffee table. For metallic materials, I recommend using metallic workflow. Most websites offering PBR materials for metallic materials provide maps designed for the metallic workflow only. I will download material from Ambient CG. Let's create this. In the Diffuse tab, I upload a color map. Moving on to Reflections, I change the surface control to use Roughness. Upload the map to Reflection Roughness and then set the reflection color to white. Next, upload a map to Metalness and set the transfer function to None. It's worth noting that for metallic materials, the metalness map is white. If you don't have a metalness map, you can simply set the metalness value to a light color. In the Bump tab, I change the mode to Normal and upload the map. Then I adjust the amount to increase or decrease the intensity of this map. I will add the displacement map in the same way as I did before and adjust its intensity. That's it. We've created a photorealistic metal material. To sum it up, for non-metal materials, I mostly use the specular workflow with a glossiness map. You can also use metallic workflow and everything will work the same. But for metal materials, I prefer the metallic workflow because it's straightforward with the metalness map. To practice, use websites with free PBR materials like Ambient CG, Polygon or Textures.com. Don't forget to download my PDF file about PBR materials. You can find the link in the video description or comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.